Can you introduce yourself? Yes, um, my name is Nicholas Martin and I've always been very interested in philosophy and I had the good fortune to meet a philosopher called J. Krishnamurti but before that I was a member of a Gnostic spiritual school and their philosophy, it's not my philosophy, it's their philosophy is that there was a fall, the famous fall in most religions which some of humanity took part in but some of humanity didn't and that's symbolized by the uh, prodigal son where only the prodigal son returns and he joins his original brother who didn't partake in the fall but there were many iterations of humanity that did fall and populated various planets in the universe and the objective was for those prodigal sons on different planets to return to the original kingdom if you like or state of consciousness and the other planets have been depopulated and their human beings versions of humanity have returned to the original harmonious universe and we are sort of stragglers and we are now learning the same techniques but these ancient monuments pyramids and other constructions were designed to assist that transition from one state of consciousness to another state of consciousness in the Gnostic philosophy. I don't know whether it's true or not, it's not my philosophy, I'm just saying what the Gnostics felt. I think it's universal that the life that we live now is a mistake. It's permanent suffering, as the Buddha said, and it's not really how a human being should live. I think we can say that categorically. And it may be that these pyramids and structures like Silbury Hill will come back and help us in this transition in relation to changes of energy which are affecting the Earth currently. I don't know, but possibly. Is it possible that our planet has such a raw vibration and it offers us really limited possibilities to grow. But with the structures like Silbury, which is behind you, pyramids and the others, we can help ourselves to raise this vibration and then eventually be worthy to progress. Yes, I would agree with that. I, I mentioned Krishnamurti, who is a very interesting philosopher. He did a lot of discussions with a quantum physicist called David Bohm. And David Bohm pointed that consciousness, pointed out, I should say, that consciousness comes out of energy. And so if the energy changes, obviously the consciousness is changing. And they have these cycles, like the Milankovitch cycles, of hundreds of thousands of years as the Earth goes on its trajectory through the universe. And there are points when that energy does change significantly. And it could be that we're in such a phase and these ancient structures are now helping humanity undergo that change in consciousness, possibly. Talking about the cyclists, for example, Kali Yuga, and according to some, we are in that period, lasts 136,000 years. Who was able to kind of come up with those cyclists and the four cyclists are more than a million years in order to calculate that either you need to get some very advanced knowledge from somebody or your experience had to be really something hmm. so I mean just the ordinary man today I mean there is no way that we can kind of determine the length of such cyclists Yes. Where this knowledge is coming from? That's a very interesting point because in uh, the ancient uh, people like the Buddhas and J. Krishnamurti, they're talking about the fact that our consciousness is dominated by time. Whether it's 100 million years or 5 minutes, we're permanently dominated by time. They're talking about a transition or metamorphosis or in Buddha, metanoia, metanoia, a transition from time to a timeless state. And that's possibly what we're facing at the moment, this gigantic leaping consciousness from a very limited perception of life to a much fuller perception of life. And it may be that these energetic changes are happening in the cosmos and we can be open to those changes and move with that or shut it out. It's entirely up to us.
Possibly. I mean, I'm speaking as if I know, but I don't know. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you.